this is Lisa. She is a graphic designer hoping to design a movie poster that caters to all movie audiences, including people that haven't seen any movies before. Imagine this hypothetical person who has never heard or seen the movie, but he recognizes the actors within. He sees Hugh Jackman and Russell Crowe and remembers he's seen them in other posters as well. Hugh Jackman is known for playing the Wolverine while Crow is a guy well known for playing tough guys. He also recognizes Anne Hathaway. Well, she did star in numerous drama films but she also played in action films as well. Furthermore, she also isn't as featured as the other two guys. So, after putting the equations together, this person would naturally assume this is an action movie. However, this person then sees the words hope and love which wouldn't normally appear in an action movie poster. So, is this movie now a drama or something? Then he also sees the colours, cold and blue. So it's leaning more and more towards a drama. So, imagine this hypothetical person has seen thousands of posters and was told their genres before. And imagine this person is actually a machine. A machine that learns. Could this machine accurately predict the genre of the movie by simply looking at the poster? How then would this machine perform against another machine that is built specifically to learn from images, say, the convolutional neural network? Well, this is exactly what we have done for our project. Imagine a model that extracts the features, such as the faces, colors, and words from the poster and learn from it, versus another algorithm that uses CNN to do so. This battle is going to be intense. Let's first look at our data set. So as you can see, we only have the posters, genre labels, and title. But we wouldn't be using this. Well, the easiest way to train would be to toss everything to the CNN, wouldn't it? And let the algorithm do the magic. However, that wouldn't be any fun now, would it? So the question is, can we somehow do better than CNN while extracting the features of the movie posters as well? Well, let us see. We first look for a good facial recognition model from the internet. We then port this model over to detect all the emotions within each of our posters. Wait for an hour. In the meantime, Let's prepare the ingredients for extracting out the dominant hue, saturation, value, or HSV. To do this, we'll be using k-means. We can't simply average all the pixel values, as the resulting colors will be different. Imagine a pixel with equal number of red, green, and blue pixels. Averaging them will result in white. Now, the emotion from the poster should be ready to surf. Let's start the HSV algorithm. Wait for four hours. While the HSV algorithm is baking, we can start preparing the ingredients for extracting the words from the posters. We do this by extracting and vectorizing them. It's going to get a tiny bit complicated, so let's put in a song. First we scale the poster up Next we have to filter it Up above the clouds we spot Words that come from within it Then we change the words to vec Last we find cosine similarity Fifty-four hours later, well that's a long wait Took us about 5 seconds per image on average and we have a whopping 39,000 images. So, Afterwards, we did a comparison between the CNN algorithm and our algorithm which is done with the help of extracting various features from the poster. The CNN algorithm triumphed over our algorithm as our algorithm is done only with traditional machine learning. After tuning the parameters, the model is complete. Now, let's share our model with the graphic designers. I'll be demonstrating the app right now. I went to Google to find a 
movie called Captain America to get the movie poster. Let me copy the link and paste the movie poster link here. As I click predict the genre, this image is thus loaded into our front end and it predicts with 99.96% certainty that it is an action movie. You are welcome to try out our project by visiting this link as shown on screen right now, which is artofposters.herokuapp.com. Thank you for watching our video and please vote for us for steps. Goodbye.